If you have nine women, the baby doesn't come out in one month. Hey, what is up guys? It is Harrison Barron, The Money Entrepreneur. And like I just said, nine women do not make a baby in one month. And this is the exact same process for SEO. Now, I get a lot of questions about SEO. It's what we specialize here at my agency, Growth Generators. But a lot of people are like, hey, I want to speed this up. And there's a couple things that you could definitely do, which I'm going to share with you in this video. But at the end of the day, it's all about patience. It's all about saying that, hey, nine women did not make a baby in one month, right? Sometimes in life, there are certain things that you just cannot, no matter how much manpower, no matter how much money you throw at it, the issue does not get resolved any faster. It doesn't work any faster, right? There's a bunch of tools online that you can use, but that doesn't mean that your SEO is gonna be any faster. But there are a couple things that you can do to help speed it up. So chances are pretty good if you're watching this video, you're either interested in SEO or you're already doing SEO. Now it took me a very long time, thousands of hours of YouTube, several overpriced courses and a lot of free courses and I learned a lot in all of them and I want to break down what I've learned. Typically on average, SEO is going to take about 35 weeks for your articles. Now if you're a brand new website, you're going to be in what's called the Google Sandbox. The Google Sandbox is a three month to about a nine month period where Google just doesn't trust you. They don't know who you are, they don't know why they should trust you, they don't really particularly care for you, right? You haven't given Google any reason to trust you. So. In that period, there's no, no, it doesn't matter what you can do, you're not gonna get through it any faster. But there is something at the end of this video that I'm gonna share with you guys that will help you a little bit, or at least tell Google, hey, I'm kind of a friend, maybe you shouldn't just blacklist me completely. So, number one is, if, if you're new, they, they don't trust you, right? It's, it's, it sucks, it's, it's something that every, every new website goes through. If you're thinking, if you're watching this, you're thinking about launching a website, launch the website, even if it's full of little to no information you're going to do yourself so many favors, and here's why. Google will eventually trust you, right? Maybe it doesn't have the most trust for you, but over a period of time, Google's gonna be like, okay, he's not bad, he's a good guy, right? He's adding value to the community. All the things that Google wants to see, adding value, you actually have purposeful content, people are enjoying clicking on your page and visiting your page, Google believes that they're getting valuable information, all this good stuff. That is the best thing to do. Now, when you launch your website, you go through that, you go through the Google Sandbox, now you're sitting there and you're like, well, what do I do for SEO, right? There's, a, there's so many different aspects of doing on page. So making sure your headings are right, making sure your title tags are appropriate, making sure your meta descriptions are done, making sure your website is actually visible and you've gone to Google Search Console and submitted your sitemap. I have videos on everything that I've literally just mentioned in my channel, so definitely go check those out. But then you're probably thinking, hmm, well, what else? right? Well, how can I make it faster? So after you do all the technical things on your website that need to be fixed, they have to be fixed. If you do not fix them, Google's never going to let you get to the next part of the process, right? So you have the first part, the Google sandbox, then you have your on page, which is super, super important. Then you have everything else, right? Just it, it, it's how it has to be. And SEO is very much so like going to the gym. If you go to the gym once, you're never gonna see results, right? Even if you go for a week and you work out real hard and you use all the muscles and you go out and you get protein powder and workouts and you buy a professional coach to help you, well, that's great, but if you do it for a week, you're not really gonna see results. You might feel results, you might feel like you did something, but at the end of the day, you really didn't do anything, right? It's a long-term game. So creating multiple pieces of content over the course of months, if not years, is going to help you tremendously when it comes to ranking. This these are the necessary steps that you need to take to start building your website. Now you might be thinking, Harrison, I've already been through the sandbox. Harrison, I've already submitted my sitemap. I've already made sure my on-page stuff is good. Now, you've, I've already written, written some content, but how do I get it to go faster? Well, like I said, nine, nine women do not make a baby in one month, but there is a couple things that you can do, one of them being what is called backlinking. So backlinking is a vote of confidence from one website to another website. And this is how you can kind of accelerate that Google Sandbox and even accelerate a little bit through the ranks. Now, is it gonna be tremendous? Not really. I really can't say that I've seen any tremendous growth from backlinks in the short term. In the long term, once again, 
it works really, really well. So remember that sandbox thing when Google doesn't trust you? Well, Backlink is a vote of confidence from one website to another website. Now, this is where it gets interesting because if, the, if your website, you're the new website, right? Google doesn't trust you. But you might happen to have a lot of friends. Or you might put out some really good information that all these big dogs, they want, you know, they're like, hey, this guy has or this gal has all of the information, right? He's not missing anything. They got, it's just full of juicy, flavorful content. People really enjoy it. It's really niched down. People, it's just, it, it seems to be sucking people in. The, those other websites are all going to link back to you. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can do this. You can buy it, which is against Google's terms of services. I would be lying if I didn't say that a lot of people buy them, right? But there are tons of other ways to get them. You can either write an article for somebody. You can write an infographic that might somebody might want to use or point to. These are all different ways. Or you might just write the best piece of content on the internet and somebody is going to be like, hey, I got to link out to that piece of content. Now, those backlinks can help you tremendously because birds of a feather flock together. If you get a bunch of really powerful websites all together and you're kind of the new guy on the block, but they all see that you have really, really, really good content, they're going to be like, hey, Google, hook this, hook this website up, right? They got the good stuff in whatever topic. It really doesn't matter what topic. But Google's going to be like, oh. I'm cool with all you guys. You guys have been around for a while. You guys got good content. I really don't have to worry about you guys. You think this guy is good? All right, let's let's bring him in the circle. Now, just because they linked out to you, you're going to get a little bit more credibility, but it's still, Google's really that untrusting friend. You have to consistently prove to Google that you're not gonna screw people over, that you're gonna consistently provide good information. You're going to make a really enjoyable customer journey, right? People aren't visiting your website and then leaving, right? They want you to spend some time on that website. And then Google, over the course of months and years, that's when Google's gonna be like, you're in the group, right? You're, you're, you're cool with all of us. Come on in. You're good. You guys can all hang out together, right? That is the ultimate goal. And doing that, especially if you're a new website, can absolutely help possibly accelerate you through the Google Search Console. Now, there's no defined parameters for the, uh, better yet, the Google Sandbox. There's no defined parameters for the Google Sandbox. And this is where you have to be really, really careful, right? Just because you can go out and spend thousands of dollars on great backlinks does not mean your website's going to get through it any faster. I've seen websites with little to no content on them, and I've seen websites with loaded to the gills of the content. Either way, you are sitting in that sandbox for a long time period of time. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I don't care who you are. Now, once you get out, you have the ability to ramp up, which is great, which is what a lot of our websites do with our agency. But when you're launching a brand new website, you're sitting in this phase of like, is today my day? No. Okay. Is tomorrow my day? I don't know. Maybe. And over time, you'll start to see and it'll just progress and get better and better and better and better and better. And this is what it's like. And this is this is SEO. So it's not just, you know, your Google sandbox. It's not your on page SEO. It's not just writing articles. It's and it's not just getting backlinks. It is a flavorful combination of all of them, right? This beautiful melting pot, this homogenous mixture of good content, following on page, make sure your website has a great user experience and backlinks all together will lift your website up through the ranks. And this is how bigger websites, they've been around for a long time, people link out to them. This is how bigger websites are constantly dominating or new websites are dominating and running through the ranks, right? For a lot of people, they don't want to do the hard work and I don't blame you. It's a lot of work. I'd be lying to you if I said right now, it's super easy. It's, it's easy to do, but the time takes a long, it's, it's just, it's a time consuming process. There's no way around it, right? Once again, nine women did not make a baby in one month. It's just the process. It's waiting and waiting and waiting. And over time, don't get too agitated. It's going to take a year to two years to start ranking through SEO. And that's just the, that's the nature of the beast. But when it works, Oh my God, it's better than ads. It's better than anything you could ever pay for because people are interested in you and your products and your services and they start coming to you because you are the expert because you've proven it with good content. You've proven it with a great user experience. You've proven it with great on-page SEO, right? You've proven it with great backlinks and all of these, like once again, a homogenous mixture makes for a really beautiful website and over time as it sits, it gets better and better and better and better and you're gonna go from 
tens of clicks per day to hundreds of clicks per day to thousands of clicks per day to tens of thousands, heck, maybe even hundreds of thousands of clicks per day. And once you start getting into the thousand click month mark, month, keep in mind, not day, month, you can start to monetize your website and you're going to have a lot more success in growing whatever business you decide. So I hope this video helps. I hope this broke down how the process of SEO actually works. What I mean, This is definitely some stuff that we do at our agency or my agency and it, it's there to help you. It's not a quick process. Do not try to push the gas pedal all the way through the floor. It does not matter. It's not going to be like that. So I hope you guys found value in this. If you guys did, Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, little notification bell, and let me know what you guys are doing for SEO. If you guys need help with it, if you guys want me to make another video, if you want me to explain something, please leave that in the comments. I really appreciate that. I'll see you guys later. Bye.